that's like half the reason I stopped making content just because I was so bummed out by that. It, it crushed me. <laughs> What is up YouTube? My name is Andy Gabs and today I'm going to be showing you guys what lives in that cage right there. Let's get going. As I kind of alluded to in the last video, uh, what lives in this cage is kind of a grail animal. Not only for me, but for more than likely some of you guys watching this video as well. Um, I got it from arguably the best breeder or one of the best breeders of this specific animal on earth. And I want to show you guys, but first, I want to talk to you guys about something else real quick. I'm currently throwing together the video that I talked about in my last video for Brian Barczyk to show him he's got just love, support, and fans all over the world that care about him so much. So if you want to be a part of this video right here that's got some pretty incredible people in it, I'll throw the instructions on how to get involved in the uh, comment section in the pinned comment for this video. I've only got like two days left because I really want to post this video for Brian on Tuesday when he starts chemo. That's pretty much my goal and I'm going to post it on Tuesday. So if you don't get your video in before then, unfortunately, you won't be a part of the video. But let's get back to what lives in there because it's pretty cool and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I've been kind of thinking about like how I actually wanted to share it with you, right? Because it's really cool and it's, it's he's right now, he's, he's right here. He's like two feet from me, but like, do I just want to go like that and show you? I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to throw my camera on the tripod. I will open the cage up because I do have, it's locked here. Uh, and locked down on the bottom. I think I'm gonna throw you guys on a tripod and uh, we'll take him out together. Um, his name is Pickles, by the way, or Mr. Pickles. Uh, my four-year-old daughter, Scarlett, decided to name him that. Now, obviously, I kinda wanna build it up and I don't wanna just take him out right away. Uh, I gotta keep you guys guessing a little bit. So, I will tell you, it came from NERD. Uh, New England Reptile Distributors, Kevin McCurley, him and I, uh, made a little bit of a trade, and I want you guys to guess before I actually take it out. What do you think it is? <laughs> now, obviously NERD is very well known for one specific thing, so that's a, that's a pretty big hint that you guys might be able to already take it away from. But I want you to guess not only what kind of animal it is, but maybe it has a color mutation or a color morph. And later on in the video, I'm actually gonna see if he will eat. This animal means so much to me in, in so many different ways. Um, it's always been an animal that I wanted to get, and I, I did get one of them um, in, in one way or another. I had one for a little bit uh, when I built that huge cage down in Louisiana, and I wanna tell you guys about that and what happened with that too. So if you're curious, why I spent thousands of dollars building an insane cage for an and then never posted about it again. I'm gonna talk about that later in this video too. For now, I think it's time to show you guys Mr. Pickles. He's right there, by the way. I'm just standing perfectly in the way of him. So, I think you guys can probably see him. You can probably see him a little bit better now. This is an albino Asian water monitor, specifically a T-positive albino Asian water monitor produced by Kevin McCurley at NERD. And here he is. So if you know anything about NERD or about Kevin and the work that he puts into his Asian water monitors, uh, one of the reason he's so well known and just such an amazingly prolific breeder of Asian water monitors is the amount of work that he puts in with taming and socializing his animals. Now, when I got Mr. Pickles here, uh, he was an extremely tame animal. He was so friendly, so nice. And as you guys can see, he's still pretty cool. He's, he's relatively friendly. He's giving me some eye licks right now. But for some reason, about three days after I brought Mr. Pickles home, he kind of had an attitude shift. Uh, he just, he went zero to a hundred for some reason. Now, anytime he's out of his cage like this, super cool, doesn't tail whip. Oh God, the claws are absolutely brutal. He doesn't tail whip, but when he's in his cage, he's very, very cage defensive. He will tail whip me, he actually has bitten me a couple times, and even at this size, a bite from him still hurts pretty dang bad. He's not seriously injuring me, obviously, but it breaks skin and his teeth do go pretty deep. Come on, you're gonna be a superstar. Hey, that's my hat. Trying to get you guys a better view of him, but he kinda just likes to do his own thing, and I think he might have peed on me too. That's great. He does thoroughly enjoy peeing on me. This is Mr. Pickles right here. He is a T-positive albino Asian water monitor. I'm pretty sure his dad is Thor from NERD. Um, 
I do have a piece of paper. Oh my god, the claws. I do have a piece of paper that tells me, um, obviously if you guys watch any of Kevin's videos, Asian water monitors like to be up really high, which is why he keeps crawling on top of my head. He's a super, super sweetheart. It's just when he goes back into his cage that he turns into a, a little bit of a, oh god, ow. No, god, please, no, no! Uh, he turns into a little bit of a psychopath. Um, but when he's out, he's super friendly, super nice. Their claws, especially at this size, they're not super long, but they are so, so, so sharp. You can kind of see on my hands, I have cuts all over my hands. He's trying to make an escape, so I'm gonna go grab him real quick. I do wanna try to feed him for you guys. He won't eat off tongs for me yet. Again, it's just the, the cage defensive thing. I think he's still scared of me. I have no doubt that eventually this guy is gonna love me, right? He's actually gonna like me. I'm gonna be able to take him out. He's gonna be excited to come out and it's gonna be awesome. For now, he's still trying to escape. I'm gonna throw him back in. I have some mice defrosting right now, and we're gonna try to feed him. I really don't think he's gonna eat from me, but we'll give it a shot. Now, I did wanna walk you guys through his cage a little bit too, because it's basically just a smaller version of that cage that I built when I lived in New Orleans. Obviously, it's got a basking platform that he's on right now. Uh, you can see his food bowl is right there. Big water bowl over here. That water bowl, I think, is is maybe like five or 10 gallons when it's filled up. His basking spot stays at about 120, 130 degrees. The other thing that I have for his cage over here, I uh, teed off a line from my washing machine to actually hook up a hose to it so I can go into his cage and mist it and spray it. I did have an automatic mister set up, but I just wasn't really super impressed with the performance. It works okay. Uh, I just wouldn't say it works great. So when I need to mist his cage, I just come over here. I have a hose that comes directly off of my uh, washer. And I take my hose, I turn it on the mister setting, and then I just go to town. Just like that, got the whole cage misted. I'm gonna go shut off my water, and then I'll show you another thing that I have to come down here and do every single day. The other thing that I come in here and do daily is I take out his water bowl, because Asian water monitors love to poop in their water. Take it out, I dump it outside, I use my hose, refill it. That's an every single day task, because they poop in their water, uh, that they also drink, obviously. I have to come down here and do that every day, so I'm gonna do that real quick too. Now right after I dump it out, I kind of rinse everything just because there's usually a res little bit of residual poop or urates in here. So I rinse it, go dump it back out, and then I'll fill it up. So now I just put this on the ground, I use my hose, sit here like this for a few minutes, and uh, once it's about halfway full, I'll go ahead and throw it back in the cage. Just like that, we're done. Time to get it back in the cage. As promised, I said that I would try to feed him. I'm gonna try, but I don't promise he's gonna eat from me. He's never actually taken a mouse or anything directly out of my hands. Uh, today I'm feeding him mice, but I also feed him fish, chicken, pork, shrimp, um, pretty much anything he will eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to feed him now, but no guarantees that he'll eat. So I switched up the lens so you guys have a better view of him. I've had mice defrosting this whole entire time, so Let's hope he eats. Now I know doing this with my hands is probably not the best idea. Um, in theory, using tongs would be better, but I don't have a good set of tongs right now. You hungry, buddy? It's a yummy mouse. It's very yummy. He smells it. He's definitely interested in taking it. Let's take it, bud. You can kind of see what I'm talking about now. He just postured up, puffed up his neck, and he moved his tail like he's about to tail whip me. And there it was. So now you guys can kind of see what I'm dealing with. Hey, 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 you're an easy buddy. Well, no point in stressing him out just for a mouse, so I'm gonna take these, throw them in his food bowl, we'll close the cage, leave him alone, so hopefully he'll eat. So the acrylic is super dirty, but you can see I've got his mice uh, right in there now. All right, now let's talk about what I know a lot of you have been waiting a long time to hear. There was so many comments saying, what happened to the huge cage? Did you ever get a water monitor? You know, you built this cage, what happened? What happened, what happened, what happened, what happened? I'm gonna tell you what happened. <sighs> I lived on a military base, right? I'm out of the Navy now, obviously, as you guys can see uh, with the beard. I lived on a military base, and though it didn't explicitly say that you couldn't bring reptiles on the base, I, I kind of thought that that might have been a thing, but I rolled the dice. And, you know, my uh, the housing place that I lived in knew that I was building this cage, right? Because I, as you guys saw that I've watched the video, I built it outside of my garage because it was so big and I would move it in every night. So they knew. Um, but once I finished it, I got goldfish in the pond, I put fish in the pond, I had the filtration set up. 
I got an Asian water monitor. Uh, it was from a buddy of mine, Nick Klung. It was a wild caught, but it was big. It was probably a little bit smaller than Pickles is right now. And they found out. They knew that I got the monitor, and I got a letter from the housing community saying, you have 24 hours to get rid of that animal or you're gonna be evicted. So, obviously I didn't make a video about it um, because it was a sensitive subject at that time and I was pissed that I spent so much time and so much money, so much effort, literally blood, sweat, and tears building that cage. I put my all into it and then I had to get rid of the animal. Like, three days after I built that cage. It sucked, it hurt, I was pissed. That's like half the reason I stopped making content, just because I was so bummed out by that. It, it crushed me. But now, uh, I'm out of the Navy, happily. You know, I did, I did nine years, nine months, three days. I had some of the best experiences ever in my life in the Navy, and I don't regret it for a second. But that was, uh, that was a slap in the face. That's what happened. Now you guys know. Uh, I know this was a little bit of a weird video. I promise we've got better content coming. I just wanted to make a quick one to show you guys Mr. Pickles and let you guys know that I'm not out of the game. I'll have Forrest coming back soon, plus the ball python that Nick Lavera sent me. Uh, they'll be coming back and I'll have them uh, probably within like a month, but we gotta build the cage first. So that's gonna be an upcoming video. I gotta build Forrest a new cage because obviously I don't have one here for him. And I like building my own stuff, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go pretty crazy with it. I wanted to have a water feature, waterfall. Um, it's gonna be pretty wild. At least my vision for it is pretty wild. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like Mr. Pickles. Please comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new here. I am down on subscribers by a lot, obviously, because I haven't really posted in two years. But I'm back, and I'm gonna post consistently. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.